All right, let's do this. Back to the unboxing grind. As much as it's a grind, it's still fun. Pasta gets to watch me do this shit. Amongst hopefully other things. Almost to the cat in the face. Jesus, these are cheap. These are small considering how expensive they fucking were. I don't know. I was expecting some like more, but I guess small is good in this particular scenario. So let's see. This is Super Night. This is a very particular thing. This is an adapter, an up converter. You give it 12 volt and it gives you 24 volt, three amps. And I need that because the other things we're gonna unbox is all LED light strip shit. It's $200 on LED light strips. It goes to several places in the house, including here. You see this, you see how there's like one incandescent car bulb and then there's these like clipped on fucking things. Like this is the under cabinet lighting. There's, there's one, two, three bulbs remaining out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that are supposed to be there. And it lights up under here, but like, they're incandescent, like pop out fuse style bulbs. Ah, it's hot. They're this, ah, it's fucking hot. They're this style bulb. And the 12 volt and the transformer that attaches to this light switch is in the basement. And I'm not gonna fuck around with 12 volt. And I could have bought 12 volt, ow. I could have bought 12 volt LED strips, but I'm going with all this brand new 24 volt, crazy high density shit. And this is gonna allow me to mount it under the cabinet and then put our LED strips. 24 volt LED strips, these are the 2700K. How long is this? 25 feet in this? Are you shitting me? This thing is minuscule. This is mini squirrel. They made, this was like 70, $70 or something. I mean, I guess it's better the small, there's a human hair on the, um, on that piece of tape. So let's just put that over there. Now imagine we took that human hair and cloned somebody with it, illegally, obviously. So this is 2700K soft white, length 25 feet with eight millimeters. CRI is, uh, Greater than 90, they're high density, suitable for dry locations. So I bought two different colors. I bought 2,700 and 3,000. I'm usually a fan of softer, which is like 2,700. And these are the cuttable ones. In fact, they're cuttable like every three quarters of an inch or 2.1 millimeters. I think it's like boom, 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 two millimeters, actually two centimeters probably. So look at that, it's just a solid strip across. And I'll, I'll turn this on to show you if the other thing, here's a 24 volt um, power supply, but it's a small one and this is so dense, so power dense that it would, I'd need the big fucker. So I ordered a big fucker 12, 24 volt power supply and we're gonna get that out, hopefully in one of these boxes. But you know, I have three projects or four projects, under cabinet lighting, my back basement steps where I like go up the things, I'm gonna put two strips there, um, my office, I wanted to put them in the in the aluminum channel and put them above the windows and have it just light the ceiling because it's so fucking dark in my office. So there's gonna be a bunch of content probably on the second channel, Pasta, if you wanna to link to Zeo's second channel or you guys can just look it up yourselves. I'm pretty sure if you look up Zeo's second channel, 2ND or S-E-C-O-N-D, you'll get that. That's amazingly small. I was also considering at some point, oh shit, Organic cat, cat crack. I don't use catnip. I don't like catnip for cats. It, it weirds me out that the cats like get like that. But I'm gonna take some of this organic cat crack and we're gonna put it down because I need to get these cats with the ability for me to, to trap them in like a cage so that they're like, can I take them to the vet and stuff? So let's take a little bit of this organic cat crack. Here, let's see. Sprinkle it on the food. Just a little bit of cat crack. But we'll try that. See what that's like. And now, the last time I've had uh, catnip around, and this is made in America, by the way. He's walking over to it. The last time I had catnip around was the cats in the Bronx, which these cats are from the Bronx, but it was years and years ago. And the cats were so fucked by it. It was like giving them heroin. He's walking away. Maybe he doesn't like cat crack. 
Uh, and we actually had it in like a, a kitchen drawer like this. It was like sitting in a kitchen drawer. And the next day we came in and the cats had removed the drawer from the thing and destroyed it. It was in a baggie, so it got destroyed. It was atrocious. It was like, oh fuck, never again. Okay, so here are the 3000 Kelvin, 16 feet. Which obviously the more you went with the cheaper it was, but... Let me give you one clip, or two clips. Yeah, two clips. It is just a smaller roll, look at that. So yeah, this will be a slightly white, a slightly cooler white, which might actually be better. I got them both, it, it spent like $70 for the two of them, or $75 for the two of them. This way I could try them both and see which one I like. And whichever one I don't like, I'll put in the shit positions. I wanna do the back door. Or I wanna also do, when I open up my chest freezer, I bought a tilt switch, which should be in here somewhere. Another mouse pad. I bought a tilt switch. Are you the tilt? No, you're the power adapter, so we can test the lights, cool. A tilt switch should have been in one of these deliveries, might be that one. Which is, so I'll put it on the, on, the, on the chest freezer door, so I'll have the wire running under the seal of the chest freezer. And when you lift it up, the switch will go click, and I'll turn the light on in there. So I don't have to fucking get a flashlight every time I go into my chest freezer. I love that they include these with like everything now. Those are the little uh, terminal adapters, so you can just plug things in. But this is great. We're gonna be able to test out these LEDs, which we'll do that before we move the fuck on. I'm even gonna open the original power cable. I put that catnip on that food, which has been there for a day and a half. See if the cat eats it. Because that cat doesn't eat the, uh, the food that's been sitting out. But if you put crack on it, maybe it will. And if I can get it to be addicted to crack, then you can get it to go into a carrier it's like filled with crack. Filled with cat crack. It's an interesting wire. It's a big son of a bitch right angle. So this pasta, if you want to look at the exact name of it, is the Alitov. Oh, Alitovo? Yeah, oh, A-L-I-T-O-V-E. There's apparently an E in there somewhere in that terrible fucking thing. Let's plug in the lights. Plug in the lights. You know, it's plugging the lights on top of our brand new mouse pad. I've been buying mouse pads to put on the desk for review because hopefully people will click that. Because if you tell people to check Amazon, they don't do it. But you're like, hey, this giant titty anime girl mouse pad or this beautiful mountainscape mouse pad, they'll click on that. More people will at least. This one's gonna be, this one's, gonna, this one's interesting. And then I could just sell them after if I've used them 10, 15 times or maybe two, three months. I'll put them in the yard sale. I'll sell you my mouse pad with something. Get my money back. Which way is up? Beautiful roll. Oh, yeah. So, Lorem Ipsum Dollar said Diam. Lorem Ipsum Dollar sit. Are you sure you want to quit without saving? Sunrain.jpg, mybeautifullandscape.avi. It's a desktop. Get it? File, edit, view, go, window, help. But it's like a really, like, beautiful, like, this is, I want this as my background on my computer. I just like the colors. It looks cool. There's a mouse on it. Let's give the big bases. That's a 5 amp. This son of a bitch here is a 5 amp. 24 volt. Which should easily power this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a bright, oh my lords. I'm actually going blind. Oh God. <laughs> it's like the sun. So yeah, that's 3000. I'm liking the color of that. I may like the, the 3000 more than the 24, 27 I mean. Where's the 27? Let's, let's lay that out, splay that out. You know what, that's pretty nice too. I like how it's just a very delicate, like this is gonna definitely be under there. This is, this is, it's, and it's adhesive too, I believe it's adhesive. Wow, that is fucking insanely bright. Do not roll up when using. They don't want you to roll it up because it'll, it'll, so it does come with an adhesive strip on the entire back of it too. So you can just peel this off. What I've found in my exploits is this shit will get hot. That's why they don't want you to run it rolled up. And if you adhere the lengths of it to aluminum like track, like go to, go to, go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they sell four foot and eight foot aluminum lengths and just stick it down to that it'll dissipate the heat off of it the shit lasts forever 
I have LED lights that I installed in like 2015 or 2016. It, no, it had to be 2015. It was as soon as I moved into the old apartment, I built two aluminum channel iron channel racks that were like five feet long. I think I took bought two eights and cut them down. And I stuck LEDs like that into them and I waterproofed it with tape. And I stuck them to the ceiling of the, of the shower that I had in Narberth. And I hooked them up to a power supply and I never turned them off. And then I, I left that apartment in 2020, bought this house. And as far as I know, they're still on seven years. Actually, no, now it's 2023. So almost it's going to be its eighth year anniversary of just being on, just constantly on in a shower where there's moisture, just on because they're an aluminum channel and that's protecting them. So let's see what's in this son of a bitch now. So those are going to be helpful with projects. Lighting is super important. If I, I might have to quit being an, an audiophile YouTuber and just become a lighting engineer. Oh my God, thank God. Oh, you have no idea. These, these ultra strong, strong bags, the good ones, these are the good bags. The bags that are in here now are shit. Garbage bags. Look at this thing, it's like, eh, a little paper bag. Eh, no, that's a man bag. Get in there. So yeah, this is my subscribe and save order. We've got some A-Fresh dishwasher cleaner. And then uh, Hershey's, Net, I mean, Nestle's Carnation's instant breakfast. There you go. Nice box, good for shipping headphones. Put that down the basement. So this stuff you throw in your dishwasher once a month instead of adding like the liquid soap on the first run you just drop one of these fucking packets of there unfortunately i never remember to do it so now i'm i'm very much behind so these contain six tablets each i have two dishwashers that means i should be using that should last me three months that's how far behind i am I should be like, oh, it's that time. Of what I really need to do is either have so many alerts on my Alexa that it constantly fucking tells me, do this today, do this today, do this today, or I just have to fucking remember that it's like, you know, new month, drop a tablet in. Same thing with the, with the washing machine. I bought the same A Fresh ones. You're supposed to uh, refresh it up your washing machine. You throw a tablet in there with nothing else. You set it to the maximum setting and maximum rinse, and it fucking cleans the shit out of your washing machine. It smells great afterwards. You know how often I've done it? Like once every two months. And therefore I have a fuckload of those sitting around too. Because I order a six pack every three months. Yeah. And I order a six pack for that every six months. Because I only have one washing machine. And I still forget to do it. Anyway, I like this mouse pad. And we got LEDs. And we're going to have to test this son of a bitch out. But that'll be great for the cabinet, so I could just ignore and abandon all that other shit that's under there, and it'll be like, whoop. In fact, this stuff is so thin, if I really wanted to get fucking crazy, and pasta would probably kill me, I could put it under here. Because I could just put it all the way down, and it wouldn't hit the, um, the drawer. Oh, the drawers would be lit. <gasps> lit, fam. Look at that chicken soup. Could I do it all the way around? The turn would be a little bit of a pain. But we have, we have enough space here. We're not... It's close, but it's not like, it's not that close. It's maybe a quarter inch. I don't know how I'd get the 24 volt to it because I'd have to come all the way around. Look at the crack back there. Oh God. I just noticed I have to get my goddamn gun and seal the entire, wait, wait a second. Was this like this? Am I hallucinating? Hold on a second, party people. Look at that fucking split. Holy shit. Was there an earthquake? Oh God. I'm just starting to notice things more. That's the problem when you become a, a good homeowner, you start noticing the cracks. Like that's okay. That's cracked. But you know, this shit has to go. These have to go. These are dumb. And, you know, I'll just tap into the 12 volt. Why didn't this go back on? There we go. There we go. Stupid. 